Welcome to the Great Chamber. So having come through from the lobby, from the atrium, the first floor hallway, we're now coming through the doorway and into a show-off room. This is the main living space for the Digby family in the Jacobean period. We have a large floor carpet, which is a pretty new and exotic thing to have. Carpets, uh, until relatively recently within the Jacobean period, were mostly seen on tables to protect the table, also to give a splash of colour, or on walls. It's usually only in very high circles that you would have a carpet wasted on the floor where people might walk on it. So they've got a, they give themselves a big living area here, so this might be where they dance and entertain themselves. And there's a table along the, uh, the back there, a buffet if you like, a side table. Um, that's got various toys and games on it. Um, and it's beautifully lit by a wonderful four light mullion window. And behind me is a three light mullion window. These are new for uh, the house in the Jacobean period. We think the Digby's put them in somewhere around 1618. Um, they let far more light in than the old medieval windows. Essentially, this corner of the house has been modernised um, to, 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 to make it as, uh, as luxurious a place as possible. The uh, large table here, an oak table, oak refectory table, with the carpet on top, has been set, uh, has been set up um, for where the family would dine. Um, this is probably where the family would dine on a special occasion. So if there were guests round or it was a, a feast day or something like that, then they would almost certainly be up here. This is one of the two warm rooms of the house and there's a fireplace in here uh, as well. The other end of the great chamber, you can see the, the now lime washed partition. We kept it raw on the other side so you can see the wattle and door, but now this has been lime washed. Um, and most, most buildings, most walls within the Jacobean period, if they were half timber like this, would be lime washed, so the timber would almost disappear. It wasn't until much later that people started painting the timbers black. Uh, the wonderful piece of furniture here, covered in beautiful carvings, is the, uh, the court cupboard. Uh, and cupboards like this would contain all the tableware, so the glasses, the lovely slipware, uh, pewter, that sort of thing. So everything that you would need in here, uh, tablecloths, napkins, to then em empty it all out, set the table for dinner. So this would be a real pride piece. Um, and uh, the master of the house would sit at the far end of the table and look down uh, across to this uh, wonderful, wonderful piece of furniture. Next to this, we've got a great wheel. Uh, just a bit later in the 17th century, these great, these, these large spinning wheels were replaced by uh, pedal wheels um, because the foot's doing a lot of the work, the wheel can be a lot smaller. And Dutch paintings of the early 17th century show these smaller wheels which then come over to this country a little bit later on. Um, but in the early 17th century, these great wheels are what the, uh, uh, the women of the country would be using um, to, to spin their yarn. Um, and, you know, it's, it's a bit of a cottage industry, but also it's something that you would probably need to do for your own, uh, for your own means as well. The light in this room means that you can do needlework and embroidery and that sort of thing. Um, so it might be that that's, having the wheel here enables that as well as the, the manufacture of clothing. 